back to the past to build a mound like this, but I can't seem to find this. Oh, well. Anyway, I'll just figure out the furthest path I have that actually has that mound, and then... Okay, so from here, I should be able, once that mound is done... Okay, so I should be able to send some units back to help with the attack. Or not, apparently no one's actually attacking me at that point in time. So I will... Oh no, never mind. The rest of the units attacking me, but they aren't actually... Can't do anything about them at the moment, so I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and try that again, I think. Have them go back and then go back and then attack as a cute order. So I'm oh, gonna say uh, okay, this is annoying. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, it's a bit it's a bit tricky to figure out how to exactly set this all up because there is a lot of stuff going on. And unfortunately I'm being it's a three-player game, so I can be attacked on multiple fronts, and it looks like I am getting attacked at least one front. I'm gonna try see if I can actually see if I can't get this to get this unit to or get this unit to go back and attack one of my opponents. Let's see what happens in that case, because I'm not sure exactly how that was all set up. And if I can get these two units into the past and actually doing some damage, then I should be able I should be able to protect the force I just sent to the past with these new units that are coming in to take out Bomber, the Tornado here, the CISO unit that can, that's an even better anti-ground unit than Lancer. Very useful. And then my Bomber should be coming in any minute now. Here we are. So the Bomber's come in. It's going to come over and attack my opponent's base. And I think, I don't know if the, no, I don't think the attack is propagated yet. But it looks like I'm still being attacked by something. At any rate, I am going to have some assistance from my own. Which it looks like I'm being pretty overwhelmed, actually. Oh crap, I better. Okay, I've got to go and assist with that again, it seems. Uh, I guess I'll have to go here and send these units back again and have them. There we go. Okay, so I've got more units coming back to the past to help handle this attack, but I don't know how well it's going to go, honestly. I think if I can build some more of the bombers, then I should be able to. Oops. Sorry, I should be able to with more of the bombers take out some of these units that were here, and possibly this guy too. Oops. Okay, that was random. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, sometimes, sorry, sometimes when you go have something go into the past, it ends up screwing up and not... Like, it sometimes will screw up, so that's something to be careful for. So anyway, when I got... I should have the bomber set up pretty soon, and here they are. So I'll just fast forward until the bomber's done. And yeah, I know I'm playing rather defensively right now, it's because this is an island map, and I'm trying to make sure that I'm not losing too much, because I think something weird is happening. I'm not sure exactly what, but somehow my opponent is doing something really weird. But this is a normal parade ground, so don't worry about it. Anyway, so yeah, the I should be getting... So now at this point, I should be able to get these bombers into the past. Let's see if I can do a, some attack, some damage. You guys, you guys go to the past. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, I should be getting a bomber into the past. Which will be attacking fairly soon. And then some new units come. So yeah, these bombers are just coming to the past. I know, this is, this is probably kind of confusing to the viewer. I am trying to talk about it as much as I can to make sure it's not too confusing. There is a battle going on in the center, however, and I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but I should probably check that out. And I will be building some more of my anti-air. Sorry, these big guys here, the pharaopods, they're bombers. These little guys here that look like hang gliders or sepipods, they're anti-air units. And this is a Vekir unit. This is one of my other my other opponents. So we actually have all three races here. The Ciso, the Vekir, and the... Oh, crap, this is Zion Hockey on my face. I, so, I'm sorry, I... There is. I, that's, that's what it is. It's a rather powerful anti-ground unit, artillery unit. It's quite dangerous, and I really do not want to have to deal with it. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't have to deal with it ultimately. I'm once again. This is one thing I should probably mention is that the Grecum have a hat of basically really powerful time travel. Well, at least it's supposed to be really powerful time travel. It actually doesn't necessarily work out to really powerful time travel, but that's the idea. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I seem to have run out of... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of juice here for it comes to resources. Well, thankfully, however, 
these resource processors, which I'm using to get my resources in the first place, Graham resource processors can fly. This is a very useful thing, honestly. It's one of the things that really makes them well stand out. I mean, considering the fact that Graham can't teleport, although admittedly only Vekir, the third race that's pop up here, the one that's it doesn't have textures yet, unfortunately. This is still bear in mind, this is still an alpha, so not everything has proper textures. Okay, that was unexpected. I, I was hoping those pharopods would actually... Oh, wait. No, these are the pharopods here. This, they're in the future. Okay, so these pharopods here, I'm going to have to send back to deal with the Zion Halakia. I'm going to have to send back to deal... Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, I have to wait until I actually get the resources that I get from having my... from having my resource processors actually working properly. And then, when the time... Okay, and I seem to have run out of... Hopefully I'm not running out of hard this. It's been 15 minutes, so I should be fine. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's been 18 minutes, so I might not be fine. Okay, for some reason I'm getting attacked by something that's... Oh crap, those are the Pharopods I was producing. I think I'm getting overwhelmed here. I... Oh crap. Okay. I... I'm sorry, I'm... I seem to be something really bad happening. Okay, hopefully I will have the resources at some point. I think I should be able to, but it's hard to tell because... Oh good, I do. So here's the Chrono Port now, and... And I apologize for the horrible frame rates, I'm not sure what is happening. Yes, now I'm getting my units back in time, so these... Ah, I must not get bad frame rates. So these units down here... Oh crap, I seem to have lost another base. Okay, I lost one of my command structures, but there's still units down here that are handling things, and... Okay, it looks like one of the players is actually planning on leaving at some point. Okay, and now I've got to set up more anti-air units. I don't know how it's going to work. I think I'm kind of getting overwhelmed here when it comes to my forces, I'm afraid. Thankfully, Grekum have forces that they can basically just deploy in parallel, but yeah, I'm getting overwhelmed siege here, which is why I'm, I'm starting to become a bit more tongue-tied, because I'm kind of stressed out with the fact that I'm having a hard time actually handling this harder than I expected. I'm hoping my, hopefully my allies are not teaming up against me, but I have no idea, honestly. Um, yeah, so... Are these guys done? Yeah, so these guys are done. So I'll just send them back. Hope, hope for the best. No, what the... No! Yes, I know. I get that. I'm... Okay, so apparently I'm... I've already lost. I just need to make sure that I don't actually completely lose, but I don't have even resources to send these back in time to prevent my own defeat. Yeah, I was defeated. Shoot, that's... So this red time wave is basically my defeat. And I do not have the resources or chrono energy to get around that, apparently. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, well, good game, people. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna see if I can stick around to observe, but I don't know how much time I actually have, so... Yes, I think I've, I've lost. Well, thank you for... Well, hopefully it was an entertaining show, match. I'm sorry, this is my first time I've actually tried to cast an Acron match, and the very first time I've ever done a first-person video of anything. So, I'm afraid I'm not entirely familiar with how best to do it. But, I am going to do... I'm going to continue doing these. Hopefully get better. Please give me feedback on the channel, and hopefully I'll be able to have much better videos in the future, because I'm doing what I can, but... Like I said, I have not ever done a first-person video, so this is quite unfamiliar to me. It's so please, like I said, please give me some feedback if you have any. Make sure it's constructive though, because if it's just destructive, it's kind of pointless. Anyway, I'm just gonna surrender now and then just observe here on out, because really, I'm not sure how much. Sorry, I'm just gonna make sure that these guys are actually done. So yeah, I'm. I've lost, and I mean, I can only see what's happened in the present, I'm afraid, which is actually nothing, because I can't see any other players. So, I'm going to end this video for now, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me, more, please let me know if there's anything more you want me to see, you want to see for this game, any particular, maybe any particular strategies, any particular enjoyable ideas you might have. I really don't know, I, I haven't really casted this much, so please let me know on the channel, just general feedback. So yeah, and have a good night.